Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, the Viking Raider. In the last episode, everything we planned went horribly, horribly wrong, or just didn't work out at all. But we're not in a bad position. We sort of haven't made any progress, <laughs> is the best way to describe it. Um, I mean, we've got our troops up now. Our plan to make him our friend didn't work out so well. Our plan to work against him didn't work out. Uh, our character's father died by basically tripping over a rock on a march. I mean, you know, I know he died from minor illness, but he died so fast. There's no point raising uh, a rune stone because they're different cultures in us. They'll just break it. Reject inheritance. Opt out of inheriting titles. Hmm. We can gain... Oh, we gain less stress and lose more stress. Okay. Dynasty opinion goes down. Okay. Are we in line? For any titles? I don't think we are, are we? I don't think we're in line for... Uh, where was it? We go through the generations. To here he held you know, the scourge of the saxons which is currently held by you we are nowhere near yeah it's been co-opted looks like this line looks like this line of the family is going to die off it wasn't adopted they, oh he died oh huh. So the heir would be her, okay. Her, him, to her, to her. Hmm. Okay. It's fine. Just means our, our original like, mercenary company will be no, no longer in our hands. Uh, starving soldiers. Yes, we've had this before. Uh, more of you. We get some more troops, and he joins us. Uh, or we could just rob him. <laughs> no, we can use more people. This is this is a good a good event for us to have. I mean, I know he's ill, but it's nice having more champions we can use. Even bad ones at this point. Just the fact that we can have more is good. If we can fill out a full 12, that's drastically going to affect our uh, little mercenary company. Uh, we're going to refill using provisions, which is only going to be partial. We do it with gold, that's, that's a lot of gold. Uh, recording a memory. Some moments must be recorded forever. The time I defeated... Uh, that guy at the Battle of Sarah Paul. Uh, that's where his mother died. I think. But we would gain an artifact. Okay, yeah. I'll lose 50 gold. Do that as well. Uh, that's not the best, but it's fine. Ah, money. Okay, I. I, I just accepted that, I didn't even read it. Uh, friend, without friends of protection, I am interrupted by my stroll. Interrupted from my stroll near the barber's tent uh, by the approach of a nervous stranger. A woman introduces herself as Agraphenia? Agraphenia. Okay, and is clearly an, as alien to this place as I. Uh, I understand you have too many people to care for, but if you'll have me, I'll be loyal. Okay. We could become friends. How old is she? She's 38. I was hoping for like a wife. Um. Mm, no, yeah, you can join. Yeah, we need more people. So we are in a war. All the way up there. 
we probably won't win this, but hey ho, we got paid to participate. We shall participate. There we go. You can make use of the uh, the rivers. Benefits of being Norse culture is we get to use the uh, major rivers. Oh, we're actually starting to pay gold as well. I just saw that. I'm starting to pay gold to use to embark. Okay, so we're going to make our way all the way down then. We are going to suffer from the recently disembarked debuff for a little while. That's fine. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ooh, if we can meet up here with our guys. Ah, there you go. Get out of here. Uh, oh, did they get more troops? Did they get more allies? No, they just they just oh they've hired more mercenaries under their own control. See that's the weird thing with this like landless mercenary thing is you've got two sets of two types of mercenary. Mercenary that you end up controlling yourself and mercenaries that you hire to fight for you. It's weird. We're the second type, we're the new type of mercenary, where we're not under their direct control, we're our own, we're our own entity. Uh, no more gold. Yeah, no more gold. Oh, of course, you suffer the crook neck. It's fine. Should get the, yeah, we got the participation. So, you know, if you win, do you have the money to pay us? Okay, you have some money. What if we swap sides? Oh, that's a good amount of gold. See, I'm always looking now to see if I can swap sides. So change war allegiance. He'd pay us 125. See, this is the thing. We don't have to be entirely honourable. We're going to siege this down, and then we're going to swap sides. Uh, it's going to hurt the prestige there. Drastically. I think we need prestige. Hmm. That's the problem. We're not getting high enough contracts because of our prestige. I'll make them a nice more effective. Uh, a faithful visitor. Oh. No, we're quite callous. Uh, be gone, we don't want your type here. I keep our stress relatively low. Oh, that's right, we get this. Make sure to use our little uh, artifacts here. Okay, we are sieging that, that's good. So it looks like they're winning and we have more troops than them and we're winning through sieges principality of un gava 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 yeah gava and gava we're fighting the uh, the kingdom of great mordo more Morvia. Yeah, Moldova is something else. That's Moldova. Yeah. And again, there's just so much mountains. Our cavalry doesn't have the uh the massive benefits. You know, where is look at the terrain? And there's lots of hills, forests. How do they do in the step? These guys do exceptionally well in plains and dry lands. So, okay, so they will do brilliantly well in North Africa. Not so much in the desert, but they don't get a debuff for the desert. They no, they only get a debuff for the desert mountains. Okay, so that's fine. Hmm. 
And these guys are farmlands, plains, and hills. So they don't have much of too much of an issue as long as they're not in forest. But again, no debuff. The winter bonus helps us a lot as well. These guys have a debuff to it. These guys have some... Yeah, we've got a weird little mix going on. A weird mix. Should be fine. We're gonna have to build our mercenary company based on where we want to fight. Now, our cavalry does exceptionally well south of the Empire, and the heavy infantry does exceptionally well north of the Empire. So we should be evening out, especially considering our cataphracts here do exceptional damage. And it's mostly only a minus 10 to minus 50 in mountains to minus 80 in wetlands. As long as we avoid wetlands, we should be fine. We should be doing mass amounts of damage with them. It's the attrition though that's gonna eventually kill our small force. Because there's not that many of us. One percent of us is uh, quite a lot. Nearly got it. Yeah, we should replenish troops when we siege them. So we're going to look at trying to take somewhere that is fairly remote or somewhat um, we want somewhere near the Empire that's fairly weak so this flex looks good it's chiefdom here well, we could take them on So we need we want some land. Uh, let's upgrade our camp. Uh, we're doing fine over there in that. More, that shouldn't be an issue. Can I upgrade you? We need 350 gold. Now give me another regiment. Uh, can I upgrade you? You would not give me another regiment. You would give me more knights and slightly more effective knights. So, yeah, we don't really have anything here currently that we can upgrade. Oh, we can do this one. Maximum size is skirmisher regiments. Oh, archer regiments. We don't have one of those. Hmm. So, we can only really save up and do that one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Uh, the war goes well over here. What are we fighting for exactly? We are attacking this guy. Wait, you attacked? As a principality here, you attacked a full on kingdom. Well, I mean. Yeah, you have more troops. Yeah, that makes sense. He's also fighting multiple wars by the looks of it, yeah. So this is going to be an easy one for us. We're just going to siege away. Prince Mark loses opinion of me. Nicknamed the Brute. My acquaintance is... At my acquaintance, have you heard what they call you? My acquaintance. Mark says to me. While straightening his back. They call you Captain Ivar the Brute. Oh. Well, that's not very flattering. Well, why, why does that lower your opinion of me? Who are you? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Who are you? Why do we know you? Okay, it's just a random prince here just telling us that... Oh, by the way, they call you the Brute. So they do. Not one to shy away from violence. We've got the Brute and the Disgraceful. Hmm. We do need to get them married off, though. Is there anybody in the camp now? Yeah, but she is not of childbearing age any longer. So we're going to have to uh, find a woman. Dynasty head has changed. 
I got an achievement. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, we just lost 100 troops. I missed that. Yeah, they took us through the mountains and we took attrition. Easy win. Victory is ours. Uh, oh my god! Gold! So... Oh, Prince Mark is the person we're working for. That's why. I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so he has to... Pay 100, 165 gold. And he's going to... Pay us 50. Doesn't seem right. That did not seem right. Ow. Can I re make a request? To arrange a marriage. You have... Uh, you only have men. Damn it. Okay. You know, do we upgrade... The pavilion here? I think, yes. Well, we've got the money. Upgrade this. And we can get some more minute arms later. And gather some provisions because we don't have any... 28% chance we'd get hurt doing that. 4% chance we'd get wounded. Yeah, we got some food. Good. Can we take that and travel over here to request stuff? Not really. That is a... Oh, well, we're going to go through... What is that? Plague? Yeah, it's infected with plague. And there's mountains are dangerous to travel through. What if we customized the route so that we went here? Then after that we went all the way to there. Can we not travel through the major river then? Is that a thing? I guess not. Yeah, we can't travel through the major river. No. Oh. You can only do that with troops, not as part of a camp. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, ambush travelers. Fight corruption. We'll go fight corruption. Uh, yeah, don't move. Don't move the camp. Don't move the camp. Oh, okay, that's dangerous. Uh, this is dangerous because it's... Low control, low control. Yeah, there's, there's no control in this area here. We're going to need a cavern master. That's going to be our champion here. That make it a little bit safer. Then... Go for path. No. What is this? Uh, it's planes. Along here, but... No, wilderness kit isn't going to help. We can hire mercenaries, but that's a decent amount of money. Plague danger goes down. Hmm, there's only really two spots of high danger. Which is here because of defensive tunnels and the county control. And this one's dangerous again. Also, the person who owns it hates us. Okay, off we go. Uh, travel awakening. It is nightfall, and a woman is hard at work when we arrive at the cereal fields. She appears to be flattening crops at a rapid pace using a flat piece of wood. Totally safe. Totally safe. Ah, damn it. it. Seems that our caravan has become lost in these foreign lands. Gear has been travelling with tra travelling us 
trailing us around for hours. Uh, so we either lose seven days or lose seven days. Oh no, we either lose seven days or gain seven days. We have gained seven days. Ooh. We have arrived at that place. I am quick to round up the worst of the rabble rousers and demand they explain themselves. Zoe, a peasant of some reputation, speaks for the rest. We fear for the safety of our children. It's Prince Burtok. Burtok's duty to protect us. But he ha but he yeah. he is only concerned with controlling us. If his fine swords won't be cutting down the bastards. <laughs> Blasted outlaws. Okay, read that right entirely wrong. So, silence or die, peasant. I cannot stand for this matter of injustice. Who hired us? That's the thing. Who hired us? This guy. Which is not this guy. So I could silence the peasants. Which would... Increase their popular opinion? You help exert... His pressure, his present, sorry. Uh, but you haven't learnt. You have to leave some men behind. Every lowborn follower gains opinion. Uh, no, we, we. The guy hired us. Wait, did I just. This is repeated, isn't it? Okay, so, oh, it's a... Uh, yeah. Uh, when the clamorous ordeal of bending each peasant leader to my will is complete, we take once more to the... to the road, the Count speaks. Of our next destination, we shall go to Sturdent's, for better or worse, the local mobs are... Of grave concern, tax collectors, and such. Oh, okay. Just say I can just say I'm done. I'm done. Give me money. Uh. Okay, we repeated that quest twice. Book replaced. Being replaced with an exalted and excelled at contract hook. Yeah, we need to move closer for this one. Can we arrange a marriage with you? Do you have You have a woman? He has a woman. Excellent. Uh snowbound. Um Hmm. I'll pay the money. Yeah, so if we can go over there... This way? That way. Where's this dude? Oh, okay. Right, so... It's one of his vassals. This guy. He's way up there. Why is he up there? Uh, that's fine. We should be able to move there. Move the camp. We'd run low on provisions, but we wouldn't run out of provisions, which is the important thing here. Uh, the other important thing is... Yeah, I'll hire the mercenaries. We have some money now, so I'll do that. Yeah. So we're not gonna we're not gonna run out of provisions. We're just gonna run low on provisions. And impressment. We're gonna go here. We are gonna request a woman, hopefully of decent age, fortified knowledge. The high altitude and the brisk air has a refreshing quality in the local hill fort. Uh, while doing so, I approach the local Captain Cos Cosma. Uh, would you like to join in, my lord? 
Ooh, do we want? Yeah. We're getting reckless. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Cutting rations. Just buy yourself something tasty at the next town. Okay. So we are at his capital. We are going to make our request. We want to arrange a marriage. And... Yes, you have one unimportant woman. Ah, here we go. Oh, and we have a hook on him. We can marry one of his daughters. Or one of his... Granddaughters? No, one of his daughters. Who's the granddaughter of the prince there. He wouldn't accept... I have a hook. Okay. No. Okay. What about you? She's a bit older. But she is... Hopefully... She'll do. She'll do. It's a wife. That's the important thing. She'll do. Oh, hire as mercenaries. 30 gold? No. Ah, I'm curious about Chief and Samuel. Uh, and would be honored to stand alongside his bannerman. However, a few gold coins is not enough to risk the lives of my brave followers. I should ask for more. Oh, make it an official alliance. Force him to be my patron? So this is what we should have done before. We join all of the wars. Uh, provisions. We need provisions. Oh, sweet. That works out quite nicely. Why can I not raise my troops? Can I raise any induce the occupation of an enemy army? Hmm. I accept our marriage proposal. Nice. We have a wife. Is she bolding? What is that? Hold on. What is that? Why does her hair look weird? Just me. No, oh, yeah, yeah, she's balding. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's like her hair is lower down than her head. That's very weird. Uh, is the head where I turn off? Okay, so it's this 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 little hat here. <laughs> Just take that off for you. There you go. Now you don't look so weird. That's better. Perfect. Okay, so. We can't raise our troops. We should probably move our camp again. Uh, let's just go over the river. We don't need to do that. Definitely don't need to do that. Just going to move over the river. And then we can raise our troops, which do need to be replenished, actually. So I'm going to go that now. I'm going to use the provisions we've got to replenish our troops. So that we're a formidable force again. There we go. And we're going to go straight for the capital. We're going to start sieging that down. Who's occupying this one? Oh, it's occupied by someone else entirely. It's just for some reason it wouldn't let us raise our troops there. That's very weird. Very weird. Oh, we're known for our dedication to our faith. Isn't that nice? Okay, we don't do so well at sieging. That's one thing we'll do next is we need to get a... Um, we need to get some siege equipment as part of our company. That would make the most sense. But that will be for next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.